As you'll see in this graphic, however, estimates are that the fatality rate is between, I would say, 0.5 and 3, and that's a big swing, right? The seasonal flu is about 0.1%, right? The common cold is essentially slightly more than zero. The 2009 flu is slightly more than zero. Polio is less than the seasonal flu. It's less than 0.1 on the y-axis here. The Spanish flu was pretty high. The Spanish flu was about 3%, 4%. So as you can see in this graphic, which is from the New York Times, uh, again, I'll link to it. It's on my Instagram. The, this pink box is where we think coronavirus might land. And so we don't know the actual fatality rate. We're estimating 0.5 to 3. And I think that that's, that's a large range as a conservative estimate. But the key is numerator versus denominator. We won't know how many people are infected. And we can't tell that completely. More people will suffer. More people will die from this illness, sadly, than they do the seasonal flu. Absolutely. This is not the seasonal flu. It's more virulent and also appears to be more infective. So infectivity, which is also called R0 or R0, you like the medical terms, uh, is on the x-axis. And as you can see on the x-axis in this graph, this is an average of the number of people that someone with coronavirus or any virus will infect. Measles is way out here to the right on the x-axis. Though it has a case fatality rate less than one, the average person with measles infects 15 to 18 people. Chickenpox is about seven or eight. The common cold is between one and two. The estimates for coronavirus are 2.2 to 3.4 for the R0. So the combination of being moderately transmissible and being more deadly, more virulent, having a case fatality rate that's higher than the flu make this more of a big deal than the flu, which is why things are happening the way they are. It's the combination of infectivity and virulence that we're trying to figure out. It's evolving every day. Again, we won't know the case fatality rate because we won't know how many people are infected by the virus, but estimates are 0.5 to 3, with most people saying around 